Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross your eyes. I think I'm better than the next man. I've been down before the dumb up by Lecrae is here, Sway in the morning. That's Blessings. Featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Sound really good, man. Oh, well, you know. So what is your take on auto-tune? You don't, you don't have a problem using it? Nah, I think that's a good... I think um, you should be able to be diverse. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I understand. Like, I don't ever want to be the old crotchety dude who's like, hey, back in my day, this is real music, and this ain't... Because everybody's had that person. I think you just embrace the new, and then you, you, you encourage them towards stuff instead of discouraging them from stuff. You know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? So mm -hmm. let me encourage you toward using some live instrumentation instead of discouraging all the synthetic stuff. So it's just... I mix it up, man. You know what I mean. It's a lot of auto tune on that track. It is. I mean, <laughs> it is. But you know, it again. Um, it's it's who it's who you trying to, you know, target. It's who mm -hmm. you trying to, you know, reach. And so, um, for me, I think it's it's important for a younger generation to have relevant voices, but they don't want to listen to somebody who don't they can't relate to. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's just relatable music. Uh, Lecrae is here. We're gonna go through the phone lines real quick. Justin in Mississippi. Quick, Justin, quick, what's, what's up, man? Crooked what's letter. going on? What's going on? First time caller, long, long time listener. I'm so excited to reach you all, guys. Sway, uh, I am a huge fan. I appreciate it. But I'm going to be real quick, real swift. Lecrae. What's happening? I'm a long time yeah. fan of you, man. You're amazing. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, wait, hold up, man. You oh, just took amazing. 20 seconds to say all of this. <laughs> I'm going to be real quick. What's your question? <laughs> All right, the question is, Lecrae, recently Tasha Cobbs just had Nicki Minaj featured on my album. Mm -hmm. We all know the response because of the artists that she portrays. But my yeah. question is, do you take the opportunity to minister to those artists who are none, well, not necessarily non-Christian, but non-traditional gospel artists? And are you surprised with their, with their response when they're in their space and in their environment? Yeah, so the word minister just means serve. You know what I'm saying, and 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 I take the time to serve everybody. You know what I'm saying. I I don't, I, and I'm not gonna put that out there. You know what I'm saying. If you're going through something, I'm finna tell the whole world like how I was able to serve you or help right. you. That's between me and that person. Right. You know what I'm saying. But um, but yeah, if people gonna hate because they because they at home with nothing else to do but be mad. You know what I'm saying. And you never know how you can affect somebody's life by just you know being available. You know what I'm saying. Being a servant. I hung out yeah. with Lecrae before Justin, him and I, and um, who else was that? With, with, with me, you, and somebody you uh, had one of your oh, people. one of my people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we ended up. I just met up with him one night. Mm -hmm. I said I was, and I, and I came off my couch, <laughs> came all the way from Harlem, <laughs> met with him downtown for Dolo by myself. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, and we hung out the um, whole night, and I found myself hanging out like a homie, like friends. Yeah. You know, and then afterwards, we walked outside, and I cut out, jumped in a taxi, y'all jumped in a taxi, and we cut out. The end, what you hear in the vocals, what you hear in the songs, what you hear in the lyrics, what you feel about him. As an artist, it's who he is as a person in I the agree. flesh. I really enjoyed myself. He hasn't invited me, Justin, to hang out again since. <laughs> but the time yeah. we did hang out, yeah, did you enjoy wild. me hanging out? I man? did, okay, man. Thanks, that bro. was great. This tell. was your wolf days or what? Like, what, kind, what, what place no, you was no, in? No. This was, was like a few months ago. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Was it uh, Oswin's listening party, I think? No, nah, around nah, that time? No. Nah. 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 That was the same night as Oswin's listening yeah, party. Right. After that, yeah. we, went, we, we, we linked up. I didn't tell y'all about it. I didn't really want to crowd him. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, we got uh, <laughs> Antoine from Phoenix on the line. What up? Antoine. What's going on, man? Hey, uh, day one fan, Lecrae, since Real Talk. Bro, wow, wow. Uh, Way back. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, man. Uh, I know you and K-Dot are friends. Just ask him, you know, when you're going to do a song with him and also when you're coming back to Phoenix. Uh, man, Um, I don't know. You know, last time me and... and uh, Kendrick talked about a song you know we both was on some like that, that'll be something serious but you know life happens man and cats get busy and cats get red tape and all kind of other things you know yeah. come into play so you know hopefully it'll it'll happen it'll go down um, you know uh, God willing and uh, I don't know when I'll be back in Phoenix but uh but you know, especially in, in light of all the stuff popping off in Phoenix, I don't know, bro. <laughs> so yeah. we'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> what, what stuff you speaking about? I was at the rally and the and the police, you know, lighting it up and yeah. the, all that. I was like, oof, that's crazy. 
I just wanted to ask because you're from Houston. Did you have any uh, people that were affected? Yeah, I just checked on a lot of my family members, and um, a lot of them are in hotels. Everybody's safe. Only had one cousin who had to like wave a white flag and get a boat to to carry him out, but everybody's safe. Um, obviously they got to auction off all their cars, and you know, because the cars are worthless after this. And some of them don't know the condition of their houses, and there's no way to get in, no way for them to get out. So you just kind of got to stand by and hope everybody's good. But nobody's missing. Everybody's accounted for. So that's God's good. All right, Lecrae is here, man. The album is all things work together. Yes, sir. Um, and that was an interpolation from a from a Bible verse. Yeah, so scripture. I, I wanted to um. It, I think everybody can relate to the idea all things work together, right? Uh-huh. It's just a con- conceptually like if I say I got butter, I got flour, I got uh, eggs, and I say individually if you try to eat them, they're not good. But if I put them together, mix them up, and refine them under heat, they all work together to produce something good, something beneficial. And so in our life sometimes we got a lot of individual things that are bitter to us, but if you refine it, if we, we refine under the heat, we come out better. Uh-huh. Um, so there's that simple concept but then it's a uh you know a deeper concept which is a spiritual concept which is all things work together for the good of those who uh love god and are called according to his purpose and just the concept and ideas that everything that works good together for my good isn't always good to me but it's yeah. good for me so okay. you know what i'm saying what's being produced is good for me in the uh, end you know what i'm saying so yeah man, i like this guy lecrae he was doing this all the whole night we was hanging out anytime you say something oh, you quote man. scripture <laughs> <laughs> Girl, come up to me, Sway. You look good today. Well, if you go into, no, I'm just you know what? See, I was I'm made in his likeness and his image. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> As I said, black man is God. That's what I'm trying to tell. No. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> all right, let's get into some lyrical breakdown. Uh. I don't get it. What exactly don't you get? Breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the Lyrical Breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. On Sway in the Morning. There was a song on, there's a song on the project that I, I couldn't help but notice the lyrics to. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and it called out to me and said, I, mean, I got to ask him, what did he mean when he wrote this? Was this second person? Was he writing about himself? What, mm. what was this about? And the song is Can't Stop Me Now, Whew. featuring Childish Major. Mm-hmm. Uh, the chorus is, hey, all those feelings of depression and doubt, you got to tell them go away. Mm-hmm. You got to say, get out the way and let them know, hey, you can't stop me now. Hey, you can't. And you throw up both hands way back and then you sell away. Yeah, you got to ride the wave. Let them know you can't stop me now. Mm-hmm. I didn't say that how he sings the chorus. For sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I'm going to speak the lyrics and I want you to tell me where did that come from? What motivated it? Last year I was feeling hopeless. I just wanted it to end. Mm. The hopelessness or life? Oh, life, bro. Real life. talk. A lot of people don't understand. The creative community is some of the most like depressed and suicidal community known to man. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know that. And, and you think your favorite artist, like I always trip when dudes be talking about they be popping Zans and everything like that. I'm like, that's really dangerous for y'all creatives because the withdrawal symptoms of that is like more anxiety. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're not popping them. So, um, but yeah, like for me, I just I was in a really really dark place. You know what I mean? Like the darkest place I've probably been in, and I don't know. I can't think of a, another time when it uh-huh. was that dark. Um, and I'm grateful. Obviously, I'm grateful for God, but I'm grateful for having good friends that I can talk to who I who don't try to fix me. They face me. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like you don't. You always don't need friends to try to fix. Well, man, I don't know how I'm feeling. What you need is. Yeah. It's like man, just face me. Walk through this storm that I'm going through because I'm gonna say some crazy stuff and it's gonna be weird. But just ride with me. And I had friends like that, but I was in a really dark place. You know, my faith was all messed up. I was wrestling with where, you know, what I believed and how I believed it. And it's because I seen a lot of, you know, crazy stuff within the church that, Mm -hmm. you know, really injured my faith. But at the end of the day, I just had to realize that, you know, these are frail, fallen people, not God, you know, himself that's 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 doing all this crazy stuff. So. So how close, when you say you wanted it to end, did you pursue that? Or does it, the fact nah. that you was even thinking it was? Yeah, it's just, a, it's just that reality. It's yeah, just when you're just sitting back like, yo, man, like, I, this is, I don't, you know what I mean? But when I, 
it's another song that on the album that I talk a little more in depth about it. Mm-hmm. And and the lot and the lyric says, When I um I understand the thoughts of suicide that do reside, but when I stop and think about my family, I feel new inside. Mm-hmm. And the idea is just like you don't ever want no family member to, to catch you your your cold body laying on the floor. Yeah. Like you don't think yeah. about how that's gonna make them yeah. feel. You don't think about the, the repercussions of how it affects them and now they in counseling and now they feeling this way and it's it's the cycle goes on and on. You got to end your pain, but you created a, a tidal wave of pain for other people that's gonna rip along and rip along and rip along. And so that was always the thought that kept me grounded and said, nah, don't do that to them. Don't yeah. do that to them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um people stealing money from me. Woo. Man, I swear I thought we was friends. <laughs> wow. Who stole? Who stole from you? Man, a good friend, man. Like you know, you 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 put your people on. You give them jobs. You hired the person, gave them a job. Yep. Okay. Put them on, and um, and you know, I can't speak to whether or not they the the circumstances that they articulated as to why it happened. Uh-huh. I just know it happened. You yeah. know, so you can give me a reason. You can say, man, I had a lapse in judgment, or you can say. You know, I was dealing with some internal issues or mental issues, whatever. But I'm just saying it happened multiple times. And and this ain't this is like I caught you. I gave you a pass uh-huh. and then I caught you again. Mm. And it's like, yo, this is you ruined everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not talking about a hundred dollars. We're yeah. talking about like thousands of dollars. You like know, more t- than 50. More than 100. No. Okay, yeah. between right. fifty and a hundred thousand, <laughs> seventy five. <So>. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like, come on, man, we can't. Damn. Are y'all friends still? Um, I still love them, but I don't. Our friendship is so it's it's that because it's the trust factor is so messed up. Yeah, like you you violated my trust so many times. I still love you. It's good. Um, I just don't know how. And I'm I'm still a human. I don't know how to navigate that that relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what that would look like. Would you loan on money? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he no. got it. Yeah. 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 I need money for you. Got my money. Loan me some. I swear. You feel I, me? I swear. I thought that we was friends, and I was so depressed. I was such a mess. I couldn't shake it off. Another murder on the television. Man, somebody go turn it off. Mm. I spoke my mind. I got attacked for it. Thought these people had my back, mm-hmm. boy. I'm they then telling me I asked for it. Mm-hmm. What happened? What did you speak out about? I spoke out on all the on all the um Sandra Bland, Philando Castillo, uh-huh. uh, Tamir Rice, on and on and on. Now, you got to think about it from this from this vantage point. You you have kind of the black church contingent who you've seen visible, mm-hmm. you know, in terms of standing up for what's going on in our society. But then there's that the evangelical predominantly white contingent. Now, that's not to say there's not white allies who are speaking up and saying things, but there was this huge contingent of people and, and leaders who, you know, wanted me to come to their events and conferences and like, oh, you know, I'm your buddy and da 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 da, da. And it's like, man, we friends, but you really are silent on this particular issue. Yeah. And, and this is supposed to be an issue of, you know, a, 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 a moral issue, mm-hmm. right? But not only are you silent, you see me getting beat up by all your congregants, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and them berating me and blasting, you know, it's just that whole, like, ah, we made you, you know, what are you talking about, and mm-hmm. how can you speak out like this? And I'm just like, you made me? Like, what, What? what am I, am I Toby? Like, what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. And so- For those who don't know, Toby is the <laughs> slave name given to Kunta Kinte by their masters, if you watch the story of Alex Haley. Right. And his family and the saga roots. Go ahead, man. Yeah. So basically, what 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 you saw happening within evangelicalism is there was a, a large contingent of people of color who just had a mass exodus and mm-hmm. said, "Yo, I'm not mess. I can't mess with this no more because y'all ain't speaking up, and y'all don't resonate or validate our pain in yeah. the middle of this circumstance." And um, and so you know, it just the, it's it's the the what about isms. Well, what about black on black crime? Or what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And I'm like, man, I just spoke out on all kinds of things. Yeah. You know all kinds of things and nobody had a problem until I started speaking out for black lives and black bodies and Mm -hmm. so um so anyway that just caused me a lot of internal damage and it made me wrestle with just like what is going on out here well I appreciate you speaking out give a round of applause for that wonder thank you for CJ wonder all right um then they telling me shut up talking about it yeah I should just talk about Christ but the truth is, I started to doubt God. I started to question my purpose. I started to act out. Mm-hmm. You still doubt God? I don't. I did though, and 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 like I said, it, it, they they think I should talk about Christ. It's, it's like 
MLK's letter to Birmingham. Everybody knows the tame MLK. They yeah. don't know the, the the radical revolutionary when they was like, you should be more like King. I'm like, which one? The one that got killed? Yeah. Like the one that, that you know, talked about how y'all keep trying to suffocate him and say, well, just preach the gospel and stop being so revolutionary. It's like that. The implications of my gospel is that I love people, you know, and help people. Like that's what the whole Good Samaritan story was about. It's about putting your religiosity aside and going to help people laying dead in the street. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, all that to say is like that, you know, seeing these influencers and these great leaders and, and, and theologians and whatnot challenged me because it made me say, well, I don't know what I believe in because I've read so many of, the, of, of this literature. But then I had to go back and I had to start learning that, um, you know, there was only one side of the narrative that was told. And I started reading, you know, um, not just Carter G. Woodson's uh, The Miseducation of the Negro, but the, the Negro Church mm -hmm. and started reading the narratives of MLK a little bit deeper and started, you know, and I knew all the things that they that they that were supposedly negative about a James Cone. But what about the positive, you mm -hmm. know, Cornell West and James Cone? You know what I'm saying? So it's like just beginning to, to, to diversify my my insight and my perspective on. Um, faith you know faith I mean? yeah Lecrae is here uh, finally um, I didn't want to sign another autograph or give us make a fake smile mm -hmm. um, that's just dealing with your public yeah. right yeah, you know yeah. that happens just, that, 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 that happens it happens to you every yeah. day you know what I'm saying every day you saw that yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Uh, you pretty good alright and in the final line doctors told me that my man died yeah almost had a breakdown who died? My uh, my homie DJ Official, and uh, yeah, so DJ Official passed away. Uh, he been DJing me for a long time. He used to be running mates with Cipher Sounds. They mm -hmm. they grew up together, you know, carrying crates and the whole nine. And then uh, he was like my man. I mean, like my close close friend. He taught us how to really have a live show. He just gave us all that insight. He was a real. He was you know, um, straight New Yorker, and he just brought that flavor and just you know he was. You know, for a first time we could ever really imagine having a beat that sounded like Just Blaze or something like that. Yeah. DJ Official was the one making those, and so for for me that was a that was a hard blow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just to have that happen alongside everything else, and it was just kind of like, what else? What next? You yeah. know? So yeah. that was tough. That was real tough. Man, this is all off the song "Can't Stop Me Now." Uh, this is a great project that it, it just even that's just one verse. That's right. one verse that's for one, one song. song. That's one, one crumb uh, off a slice of pie. pie. That's what I'm saying. Off a whole pie on a table at a buffet in a one restaurant on one block in one city in one state in one country. And it's free. Wow. You feel me? Pre to pre-order. It's free yeah. to pre-order <laughs> <laughs> right now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All things yeah. work together. And that's how dark it gets. So you can see if all things work together, the light is going to come. So you just got to listen to the album. You feel me? Yeah. Hey, man, yeah. I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, brother. man. Normally yeah, I man. have you spit. But today I would, I don't you what? don't want me to spit? I mean, I got to If you want me to rap, I... Oh, shit. Sway in the morning, shade four uh, five. Uh, Cardi uh, with the fake out. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's yeah. see what we playing with. Lecrae, sway in the morning. Hey. Uh, they tell me sky's the limit, but I don't believe that. I freestyle with the free rap. I come through and it's free rap. Uh, I'm back like I never left. I got my mind fixated on freedom, homeboy. I don't plan on missing no steps. Real rap, prodigy. I'm still an anomaly. Sway said, come up here so I can come in body beat. So. Ooh. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spit this I freestyle, this is no written. I just do this off the mittens, off the dome And it's on when it's on, you know that it's on no chrome I speak what I speak and I know what I know And that's the reason that I'm on, Hey. Hold on though, let me get a little more flow though okay. Let me get a little more rhyme though okay. You can change the beat one time though okay. uh, uh. Give me something with a little more BP Oh, here we go Okay. Mm, uh. Lecrae here, that was off the top of the head man yeah, 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 Did you hear yeah, that? Yeah. Off the top, better than your writtens hey, Alright, Lecrae, he's still spitting Alright, yeah uh, Yeah, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it Hey, hey, I was waiting for the right time to tell you how I feel And yeah, I know that it hurts But look, it's gonna heal I waited till I was on prime time To let y'all people know And you probably ain't gonna hear my music no more But it's all good Cause man, I love y'all I hope you know that I'm black, black And I trade in my smart car For a Cadillac King And had it that And I love God I love Jesus The one of the Nazareth Not the European With the ultra perm And them soft eyes And them thin lips And I love y'all and I spit what I got to spit uh -huh. And Sway sitting next to me So we get what we got to get uh -huh. Heather Beat, Tracy G You know this is not an act uh -huh. This is what we do We call this real rap Real hip hop We don't stop We keep it off the top uh -huh. Of the dome yeah. And it's on 
I'm off this microphone. Hey. I'm gone. Well, no mess up. So, hey, That's man. what off the top is. Yeah. That, that was good. Off the top ain't what you wrote the night before, two days or three weeks ago in practice and pretend like it's off the top. Hey, man, we're just having fun with it. I gotta re- I'm got. i going to record that. That's good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be putting it on YouTube tomorrow. So <laughs> might not have to record it. <laughs> Yo, I love you, bro. Man, I love y'all. I love man. what love you stand you too, for, man. Real rap. Keep it going, Real man. Rap. Give it up for Lecrae. Thank you. Give it up for Lecrae. Give it up for Lecrae. All things work together. This is Can't Stop Me Now. Sway in the morning. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45.